video cameras are hard. Hey everyone, it's me, Red Rose Corn 100, and it is like currently almost 10 o'clock at night, and I am filming this on a Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but. So this week is gonna be really exciting. Um, I am going to be reacting to old photos. I got this idea from Bria. Go check out her channel. It's called Bria's Lens. The link will be down in the description box below. So go make sure you check out her channel. Go make sure you check out our collab channel as well, Bifflad TV. That link will also be in the description box down below. So she did a reaction to like old like baby pictures and stuff and like more recent pictures too but me I'm gonna get my photos off of Instagram and check out what cringy old me posted when I was little so let's get started so this is my first Instagram photo it was posted on August 30th 2013 so almost exactly I can't math like seven years that's wrong. It's been five years. So, I'm wearing double hats. Um, if I remember correctly, I had lost my first panda hat. So I bought a new one because I loved it and I didn't want to go without one. And then I found the other panda hat at school. This picture you can see was clearly taken at school because there's lockers in the background. And this is when I was in 10th grade and I was in private school and I I thought I was cute posting a picture of my double hats. And it says, whoops, never posted this throwback yesterday. Panda hat, hat. Hashtag two, hashtag funny, hashtag school, hashtag miss it, hashtag yet don't. Hashtag like, hashtag love, hashtag live, hashtag don't hashtag, hashtag, hashtag follow. There's so many hashtags. Um, miss it, yet don't. Cringy. This is a picture that was taken when I was in fifth grade. I am the one whose head is covering the sea in school. If you can't, if you can't really tell, but um, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I was in fifth grade and our school was under a lot of construction. So we were actually in a different building that year. And I'll tell you what, I can't even really name all the kids in that photo, but I can tell you that my two best friends, I wasn't even standing or sitting anywhere near in that photo because they were standing next to each other and I was under the school sign. I don't know why, but yeah. April 17th, 2015, about a week before my birthday. So this picture was taken in our theater classroom up on the third floor. This was my senior year. If I didn't mention that already, I think I might have, but oh well. And um, for some apparent reason, I have a empty box of um, crackers on my head. I don't necessarily remember the meaning behind that and the guy that is like photobombing me, his name is Alan, um, we were like really good friends in high school or my senior year of high school. I posted this one December 3rd 2015 and it says moments on a December night. I really love this photo. Um, I believe I posted one 2016 too um, but it's really cute um, so our tree the way my house is set up is that the living room our couch is in front of this um, big giant window and then across from that couch is a TV and there's a bookshelf next to it and then there's like a little space there that is now occupied by a desk but it used to not be so we used to put our Christmas tree in that corner and um, so that's where the Christmas tree was and my dog was just lying on the couch and I thought it was like, I was sitting there watching TV and I was like, oh, this is so cute. This is like a picturesque moment, my dog in the tree. So it's, it's really cute and I love that photo so much. It says Paco is cuddling the corn toy I got at the fair last summer. LOL, he's so cute and he literally looks evil. He's like, He's just, he's got the corn and it actually looks like a corn. Now it's sad looking, but yeah, I just, 
think that photo is so funny because he's just like, you touch my corn and you die. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this photo. <laughs> Um, so I posted this April 27th, 2016, three days after my 19th birthday. Yeah, 19. We were in New York City. We took my little cousin, who was, I think, 14 at the time. She must have been 13 or 14. I think she was 13, and she was turning 14 later that year. I, like... I love that photo. We just had like so many fun memories. Me and my cousin and my mom always have the best memories. And that's kind of where it started. We took her to New York City and then we took her to Boston. And this year we took her to Niagara Falls. And next year we don't know what we're going to do yet because it's August. October 5th, 2016. This was my first photo with Cassie that we ever took. Um says i love you so much being with you has been the best thing ever and i'm so happy i could be your best friend there have been many hard times for the both of us but we can make it through it together i promise i will always be right here when you need me and that is still true we don't really talk as much because we both work a lot and she, i think she's moved in with her boyfriend so we don't really talk all that much but when we do talk it's really fun because i do miss cassie uh, like seeing Cassie all the time and stuff but I still love her and it's so great with that being said I have to react to this photo when Cassie took me to Salem for Halloween that year and there was this guy sitting on a bench and he was just like touch the beard it's magic so we all me and Cassie and her friend Shannon um, we were all together and Morgan um, we were all together and we all got to touch the magic beard, so. Um, it says fun at work. And, um, I was actually working at Dunkin' Donuts during this time. Um, but I'm not in Dunkin' Donuts, I'm in Walmart. <laughs> because my mom has a merchandising job. So when we started it, we would uh, do family dollars and Walmarts and now we just do family dollars and sometimes like Shaw's and Dollar Generals and everything, but we don't do Walmart anymore, so, but that's really sad. Um, but when we did do Walmart, we usually, um, we just blew up balloons and it was very entertaining to me to watch the balloons blow up and I'm doing this like pose and like it's so blurry and so cringy, but... I really miss doing balloons, guys. This photo was posted last year on August 20th, so um, more than a month, <laughs> or a year, more than a year. <laughs> and uh, this is my photo that I used to promote my music video Monday for Follow Your Arrow. Oh god, the memories. Okay, October 21st, 2017, day one. Dancer friend I miss, and I said I miss my whole team. This picture was taken my sophomore year of high school, and I was on dance team, but I didn't get to participate that year, really. Only the last competition I got to participate in states, because that was the year I was diagnosed with diabetes and my doctor and my coach decided that it would be better if I didn't participate. So, but I was still with my team and I was still having fun, so. And I really like the outfit that I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, November 15th, 2017 says last night at work. Yay me. And I've just been doing the regular peace sign. Obviously, I'm still a cashier. It's only been like two weeks of me being at that job. Look at how short my hair was. Holy crap. Actually, it really hasn't even grown that much. And it's been almost a year. But And I'm drinking at Starbucks because who doesn't need Starbucks while you're at work? So this one was posted on February 3rd of this year. And it says, that face you make when laundry takes forever. Cringy Brie, really cringy. But I love you anyway. You my bip lad. You my ride or die. And that's why. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a photo of Niagara. April 25th, 
of this year. That was the day after my birthday. And we went to Niagara Falls for my birthday and it was super fun. And yay, great picture. <laughs> and I will do, for my last one, I will do my most recent picture, which is singing slash piano lessons are fun. Hashtag piano, hashtag voice, hashtag sing, hashtag fun. So yeah, I, I don't know, this picture is cringy, but like the meaning of it is fun because I'm at my voice coach's house and having a voice lesson and I took a picture of me with his, with his piano and yeah, I don't, I don't know. So that is my reaction to my old Instagram photos and my like newish ones, I guess. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my link will be in the description box below, but in case you don't want to look there, here is what my Instagram is. And now it's time for the question of the day. And so the question of the day is going to be, what is your favorite memory that you've ever had? And yes, you have to pick one. And my favorite memory that I've ever had, no offense to any of my friends or Amanda, but my favorite memory is running on the beach at night with my Aunt Barb. Uh, the one time that I went to their house by myself and it was so much fun. So yeah, with that being said and done, I will see you guys next week on Red Rose 2400. Have an amazing day or night, whatever time it is for you watching this video. Poosh. It's almost love, almost love. Can you feel the tension rising now? Now we're getting it.